All right, good morning. No rest for the wicked. It's Saturday morning. Got a bunch of shapes I need to get cut out. Uh, I'm going to be using this uh, saw blade uh, donated to me by a good friend of mine at uh, Industrial Tube and Steel. Thank you uh, to Mr. Jones. And then uh, got some 1075. We're going to be cutting out some chef knives out of that material. And uh, try to fill up the space on the blade with just some random stuff. I like to throw a few skinners in there and, and uh, you know, work with what I've got as far as space goes while I'm cutting. And uh, I'll take you out and show you the, uh, the plasma setup and uh, show you what that's all about. Uh, don't forget to like us on, uh, on the YouTube page and uh, like our channel. If you uh, have some comments on there, feel free to post them. And uh, you can find us on Facebook as well, Crooked River Woodworks, Rustic Refuge, Cleveland Sewing Company. And we are uh, turned all that into one channel that is uh, pretty much covered under our Urban Homestead. Uh, channel on YouTube. So uh, do us a favor, help us out, and uh, hopefully we can continue to keep feeding you this information and what we got going on here. All right, thanks so much. All right, so here we are set up outside for our uh, plasma cutting operation. We've got the uh, saw blade all secured down to my uh, little grounding plate there, grounds connected. Got a little torch here. Uh, using my Everlast 205. It's a multi uh, multi uh, machine that will do uh, stick welding, TIG welding, and plasma cutting. So uh, that being said, I'm going to uh, fire everything up and uh, start cutting. All right, so I got everything set up. Pretty much ready to go. Did a couple test runs. Looks like everything's good to go. So I'm just going to dive in here and make a couple cuts. out of there. But, uh, that's basically the gist of it. I'll come in uh, zoom in on this and show you a little bit better here. And you can see Got the shape, the profile, got my templates all drawn out there, so uh, that's pretty much all there is to it. All right, check back in a few. All right, so this here is, you can see what's left of the uh, saw blade. Made pretty good use of that, not a whole lot of scrap there. And then uh, this is pretty much what we got out of the, the material here. Apologize for my shadow. So they're they're not perfect cuts, but they're way better than trying to do this by hand with a grinder or something of that nature. So uh, just takes a little bit of cleanup on the grinder downstairs, a two by seventy two grizzly, and uh, some thirty six grit, and we'll have those things all ready to go, profiled and ready to start putting edges on them. So that's about it for the uh, for the plasma portion. I'll uh, I'll show you once we start cleaning these things up. All right, thanks. I right, just thought I'd give you one more look at everything that I cut out today. Uh, this was at a pretty much the saw blade, and then there's uh, three knives that I cut out out of the uh, 1095 332 thick 1095 material that I had. Um, like some of the chefs, to be a little bit thicker to start off with, so I use that material, and then I go to the saw blades for those real thin. Skinners are good. And then uh, some of these other chef's knives are also nice and thin. So uh, this is what I got. So I'll be heading down into the basement now to, uh, to start grinding on these guys. So uh, probably look for that in another video. 
and uh, maybe we'll call that part two of, uh, of cutting out and uh, maybe saw blade. So uh, look us up, watch for that. Again, this is uh, Crooked River Woodworks and Forge, and uh, our channel is the uh, Urban Homestead. Thanks a lot.